Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of GATE 2024 Mathematics Code MA. This is a question from Topology and Functional Analysis. Uh, first we read the question. Let LP, we all know about the space LP. LP is a sequence space. All such sequences such that this norm xp equal to summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity mod x into the power p whole to the power 1 by p less than infinity for p equal to 1 to so here con uh, we have to consider the space l1 and l2 let c00 equal to all such xn such that xn equal to 0 for all but finitely many n greater than equal to 1 so all such sequences are in c00 such that the uh, only finitely many terms may be non-zero and other terms will be zero. All such sequences will be member of this C00. Uh, for x equal to xn, n greater than equal to 1 belongs to C00, define fx equal to this. Summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity xn by root n. Consider the following statements. Statement 1 says that there exists a continuous linear functional capital F on L11 norm 1 such that capital F equal to small f on C00. Statement 2 says that there exists a continuous linear functional G on L2 norm 2 such that F equal to F on C00. So uh, this small f is clearly so this small f is clearly a functional on C00. So this is a linear transformation from C00 to R and clearly this belongs to C00 star because this is a linear functional. In fact, this will be uh, continuous or bounded linear functional in a nonlinear space we know that operator t is bounded if and only if it is continuous so we can uh, use the term continuous or bounded the same thing so now for statement one we have to find a functional f on the space l1 uh, on this space l1 norm 1 such that this f equal to small f on c00 if such f exists bounded linear functional or continuous linear functional and for statement 2 we have to find g uh, bounded linear functional on l2 norm 2 space such that this f equal to small f on c00 so clearly this f and g must be defined in this way that fx equal to gx equal to this small fx equal to summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity xn by root n. So simply we have to check that for statement 1 we have to check that if f is bounded or continuous the same thing on this L1 space and for statement 2 we have to check this G is bounded on this L2 space. So now for statement 1 just take one arbitrary x belongs to this L1. So we have this summation mod x uh, less than infinity. Now this fx mod fx equal to this fx mod equal to this mod of summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity xn by root n. So now we can use this inequality. A simple generalization of this triangle inequality. We can prove this result just simply taking limit. So this will be summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity mod xn by root n and uh, 
also this will be less than equal to summation n equal to 1 to of infinity mod xn and this is simply our norm x 1 1 norm so clearly we get that this mod fx less than equal to norm x for all for all x belongs to this l1 so we have this capital f is bounded or continuous so capital f is bounded or continuous so this for this statement to one is the true option this is a true option because such f exist now for statement 2 we have to examine that such g defined by this gx equal to summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity x in by root n is bounded or not on l2 so we now show that g is not bounded actually we now show that g is not bounded on l2 so to show this uh, if we take an arbitrary n belongs to n, we can show that there exists some y belongs to this L2 space such that this mod gy will be greater than this uh, n norm y. So if we can show that for each such n belongs to n, there exists at least one element to y such that this holds so this in, this will this will be this will imply that uh, g will not be bounded so we have taken arbitrary n belongs to n and for this n belongs to n uh, we will take one m belongs to n such that this 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus dot dot 1 by m is greater than n such m definitely exist because this summation is actually uh, is not convergent. So now consider one element y equal to simply 1 comma 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 3 comma dot dot up to 1 by root m and the other elements are 0. So clearly this element belongs to L2 because if we consider norm y then this will be less than infinity the summation now consider this gy mod gy this will be equal to uh, summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity this xn by uh, this will be actually our uh, g is defined by in this way so this mod will be simply 1 plus more of this 1 by root 2 into root 2 in denominator x3 that is 1 by root 3 by root 3 dot dot up to uh, so just omit the summation we are writing the elements explicitly so this is up to 1 by root m by root m plus dot dot. So this will be actually 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 dot dot up to 1 by m and which is greater than n. And now consider the norm y, the element, the norm of this element in L2, 
this is refined in this way that norm y to this will be this norm of this element 1 1 by root 2 1 by root 3 dot dot 1 by root m comma 0 0 dot dot norm of this element 2 so this will be simply root over 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 dot dot up to 1 by m Uh, actually, we uh, when we have taken an uh, arbitrary n and we have uh, considered uh, we have taken one uh, m such that this 1 plus half plus up to 1 by m greater than n, actually we will take one m such that this will be greater than n square. Such m definitely exists because uh, this summation, because this summation n equal to 1 to up to infinity 1 by n this series is not convergent, it is divergent and diverse to plus infinity. So we must have such m exist such that this will be greater than n square because, because this n square is a finite real, a finite number, finite integer. So now just slightly changing this m such that this uh, takes such m such that this will be greater than n square. Now look at here that we have this 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus dot dot up to 1 by m greater than n square. Now this implies that root over 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 up to 1 by m greater than n. Now this implies that 1 plus 1 by 2 dot dot up to 1 by m just multiplying root over this in both side we get n into root over this 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 dot dot up to 1 by m. Now see here this is our actually mod g y this is our mod g y this is uh, we have calculated this mod gy and no need to write here this greater than n because this will be greater than n square. So this is our mod gy by this 1 and norm y is here by 2. So simply write by 1 and 2 this is left hand side is mod gy and right hand side is this n into norm y 2. So this is the things what we need that one such y such that this mod j g y greater than this n into norm y. So for each such n, we can find one element y belongs to L2 such that this mod j y is greater than n norm y2. So this implies that g is not bounded or continuous on L2. So now look at the options. Look at the option here. Uh, option uh, statement 2 says that this g uh, there exists continuous linear functional g such that g is g equal to f on c0 g c0 0. So such g is not continuous on L2. So this is false. So now look at the options. Which one of the following is correct? Both 1 and 2 are true. This is not the correct option. 1 is true, 2 is false. This is the correct option. 1 is false and 2 is true. This is not the correct option. Both 1 and 2 are false. This is not the correct option. So option B is the only correct option. This is the solution of this problem. Thanks for